Hello everyone and welcome by Art and Orchids. My name is Elkian Wiesman and today I'm going to talk about Tolomnias. Today we are going to talk about the Tolomnias and uh, yes you heard it well I was uh, saying we because this is another care collab and this time uh, there are quite a lot of uh, people who are joining in in this care collab. My first one was about the Colmenara Maise Red and I did share that uh, collaboration with uh, Nina from Ninja Orchids but today we have uh, quite a list of um, participants so I have my phone next to me and I'm going to go over them uh, briefly now and first of all we have uh, plants and other things then we have Mies Orchids M.E.'s Orchids then we have Math by Nature and then we have What's Up Orchids Lynn Smith, Honeybees and Orchids, Idisha's Orchids Diaries, I hope I pronounced it correctly, and then we have Cloud Forest Vibes, Orchids and More, Michelle's Live on Repeat, and last one is Ninja Orchids, and of course myself. Um, so yeah, today we're going to talk about all um, all of us are going to talk about the Talamnias and how we do take care of them in our different climates. So these are my two Talamnias. I don't have uh, much of them yet. I'm planning on uh, buying more of them maybe in the future. But first of all, I like to try to get no to know these plants and if I really can grow them in my grow uh, my greenhouse, my growing house. <laughs> Uh, well, I, I have an idea for the, this one, and that is the um, Zele, Zelemia Midas. And actually, I saw this one the first time on Ninja's Arcad uh, uh, channel, and I really felt in love with the blooms, so therefore I uh, bought this one. So Nina, if you're watching this, yes, I uh, you did in, uh, introduce me to this uh, Tolomnia. Actually, it's a cross. Uh, with a, another plant in the Talamnia, another orchid. I can't remember on top of my head which one it was. I will have it in the screen now by uh, with a with a pop up. But yeah, I really like uh, the, the blooms, and so therefore that was my first one. And I bought this one in uh, October, last October in uh, 2020. So I don't have them that long. And a few we weeks back, I did um, buy this uh, one who's now blooming. Uh, it came with a spike, so these blooms are not uh, not mine, so to speak. But um, yeah, it's it's a hybrid, and I, if I remember it correctly, I think Roger had this one as well. So I may look uh, have a look at his channel for the exact name. But for now, it's a, it's a no ID hybrid with beautiful bright colors. I really enjoy the colors. Of this one as well and I thought I'm going to take uh, yeah two Tolomnias and try them in this setup but before we do that what I do know uh, about the Lomnias uh, at this point is that um, they do not like to have wet feet they like a very fast uh, cycle uh, between watering and drying up um, they prefer to dry up uh, quite quickly within a day or two maximum I think so I try to copy uh, yeah to copy that with um, with how I have them potted up by now I have them in a terracotta pots uh, the media is pumice as you can see with um, little uh, lava rock and little lekker beans very small ones because they have uh, quite small roots so that is how I have potted them up and as you can see I have them hanging so I can water them quite easily put a little bit of water in there it will come up on the bottom of the pot and also the, the terracotta is uh, is breeding so thereby it uh, dries up uh, quite quickly and I always have my fans running and they get a little breeze every few seconds so therefore I think um, I copied that quite well but uh, let, I'm going to take them uh, off my um, my mount, uh, my uh, rack, and put them on the table so we have a, uh, can have a closer look and see how they do in these spots. Well, I decided to uh, put them not on my table because I have my fans running, as you might 
here in the back that's because because it's quite warm in my greenhouse now so I yeah, really cannot uh, uh, shut off my kit so therefore I uh, hope it's not too noisy um, but I have to say um, this one I had mounted and I did uh, repot it in this um, type of up potting well probably two well three weeks ago something like that so they are just yeah um, you could, could say uh, just uh, repotted so but I see already a root here and I try to zoom in and so this one is seems to be liking it you see that beautiful root going around the pomace there I also have an area root here and we have some green tips on the roots there but they are not really going in the media yet uh, I'm sorry I don't want to make you dizzy but I have also a root in this leaf was going downwards so I think they like this setup I just think I'm not completely sure like I said and the next one the hybrid no idea is also going a root in the pot but like I said they are just just in these these pots just yeah we have another root coming out there so I think they'll they like it but yeah I'm quite new to these uh, this genre of orchids so therefore um, yeah I can only tell talk about what I'm trying out but this um, way of up potting them is a bit easier for me uh, to keep a little bit more moisture in them because I cannot water them daily because of my uh, day job so therefore I had to uh, unmount them and put them in a pot but also try to think about the drying cycle which I was talking about in the beginning of this video um, I would like to copy that as well so therefore I tr tried this, this setup and I'm not the only one who is um, growing Tolumnias this way and they have successes so therefore I hope mine do, will do well as well but so far so good because I'm very happy with the root taking the pumice it's not drying out which uh, Lekka does sometimes with uh, with roots it's, it's just like the Lekka it looks like the Lekka is uh, yep, getting moisture out of the roots but the pumice, I have good results with pumice and there, thereby uh, um, that's why I really like pumice so much they do not uh, desiccate the roots when they are dry uh, the roots take the pumice quite easily so therefore I'm very happy with, uh, with these results so far and I must admit I really like uh, Telomnias and the blooms so therefore I just uh, did buy a few pots more <laughs> I have uh, seven pots left that I should be uh, able to use for Tolomnias. I couldn't resist. I thought, well, if I succeed with those two, and they are hanging in that corner, if they are doing well, I, yeah, I should have a few more. I don't know if I need seven at this moment, but yeah, there is some room there left. Next to my, uh, this is my vanilla plant. I have some room there and there, and I could put them a little bit higher near the roof maybe there a few I don't know but I really like the light levels quite high not not incredibly high but almost fender like so therefore I have put them a little bit behind the vendors also because these are just um, adjusting to the pot so therefore I don't want to stress them out with too much light but I think they are doing well because I see new roots with both of them as we saw so um, yeah that's a good sign I'm happy with that I didn't know what to expect at this moment so I yeah I thought I don't know if I really can grow them but I th yeah I think we are uh, at the right track at least but uh, yeah I'm still trying out <laughs> and I must admit this is uh, a, another branch it had more uh, blooms on it when I did repot it those blooms were uh, gone in about two or three days but then I decided to branch and the plant itself it doesn't look uh, dehydrated too much so therefore I think it's uh, taking this transition so far so good I really watch um, the leaves if they start to shrivel 
or uh, something like that then I will cut the flower spike but so far like I said they're doing well I didn't expect it but this one was had a lot of roots but they were very attached to the mount so I really have to uh, I really pulled it off and thereby I broke a lot of roots I must admit I wasn't happy about it but it had to be done because I cannot uh, take up the uh, the care from mounts it's just too, too much work for me I really like mounts and the look of mounts but yeah like I said it's just too much time that I not always can give my uh, my plants so therefore um, I have most of my plants in a self-watering setup but these plants don't like that water but I, I yeah, I, I not even want to try because it really doesn't suit them as far as I know. Probably there will be maybe some f few growers out there who did get them to grow in self water. I don't know, but I think they really, really hate it. So therefore, um, yeah, I choose this uh, setup and I spray them with water just on top of the pot. Sometimes a, a little bit more, just once a week that the water is really coming out of the pot. And in the meantime, uh, every two days, I'm spraying the top of the pot. Sometimes, if it's really as hot, also the terracotta pot itself. And um, when I give them a really quite a flush through, then I feed them with about uh, probably uh, 150 parts per million. The other waterings, um, most of the time, it's just plain or or o water. They don't like. Uh, very heavy uh, feedings so therefore I flush them and once a week they get some feed and then I flush them in between and if it's really getting warm in here I can I could uh, water them daily and uh, preferably in the morning so they can dry up during the day that is how uh, how they get the water in nature as well so I try to copy that before I start to work I really uh, spray them quite quickly and that is that but they do dry up uh, sorry, do dry out a little bit slower than on the mounds. But if I had them on mounds, sometimes some days I really had to water them at least twice, and sometimes uh, three times a day. So that was uh, too much for me. But once a day, I I can manage if I uh, if they have to. So I'm really trying this out. But I think uh, yeah, we're on a uh, right path. But therefore, also, I really like this uh, care collapse and this one especially because, as you uh, know, now know, I'm really I don't have experience with these uh, this um, type of orchids, so I'm really definitely gonna check out the other ones who are participating in this uh, care collab, and that is really the nice thing of these uh, care collabs. So we can, uh, yeah, learn from one another, and that's why I'm making videos. I really like to share information. And because I learned so much over the years from other growers, I thought, yeah, that's why I should start filming. Just at least try to give something back. So I hope I will, uh, I will do that. And uh, yeah, I probably will uh, make videos about them more and more. So uh, we can see some progress. That would be really awesome, of course. And this one I never had in bloom. It's a very small plant. It didn't have much root on it when I did receive it. So there are coming more and more roots. Like I said, that's a really uh, nice thing. But I must admit that currently I'm really working on a better um, uh, humidity in my uh, uh, growing room. It's now 27 degrees. It's now uh, around 7 in the, in the evening seven o'clock in the evening and well it now flipped over to 38 uh, percent of humidity that's low that's way too low for my liking I like it around 65 at least so yeah there's some work to do there and I'm working on it I uh, bought a uh, humidifier but it, it's on its way uh, it's still in in the post so therefore I uh, yeah I have to wait I hope it will be here soon as possible but uh, in the meantime I'm spraying my orchids this green hound I try to spray it every morning so that we have some water here and uh, because otherwise I may lose some roots some aerial roots because it's it's just too dry here and I also have them hanging southwest so the Sun is quite quite a lot here well, well let, uh, let me uh, get it from another angle I hope this is a little bit uh, easier my Columbia's house hanging there in that corner but I have light 
it started around two o'clock in the, in the afternoon and it will be there in summer and evenings it will the sun will go down right about there I think so these guys do got quite a lot of a lot of sun um, but I have to, I have some sh uh, shading on there I uh, this have sh sh a shading paint they call it it's a sort of kind of chalk white chalk that we did that I did paint on my greenhouse and I did film it and um, yeah probably in the near future I will have that video over on my channel I'm working on it but like I said sometimes it's a little bit too busy for me with my day job so I'm a little behind filming but it will be there but uh, yeah and so far so good I think the amount of light is uh, is nice for them and they do not uh, get quite purple I must admit a little bit of purple I don't mind but if they get too purple personally I like the green a little bit better just personal taste there but so I try to keep them as this quite nice green powerful color that I really uh, really like so but yeah we will uh, we shall see how they will do so yeah it's uh, more an, of an experience uh, video from me because uh, like I said I'm just uh, quite new to these guys but um, and also I really like to um, this called care collab so I personally can uh, learn quite a lot as well from other growers and I like to um, give some updates in the new f near future so if you like this uh, please yes yeah, subscribe to my channel and we'll, we'll definitely see those uh, two again and probably some more but um, yeah, this is my care collab so far. If you really enjoyed it, if you um, have your own channel or you are starting to, starting to think about making videos and you want to talk to uh, join this care collab and talk about the Tolumnus as well, please let me know in the comment section below and I will uh, get to you and we will uh, work things out there. So there's definitely a uh, yeah opportunity there if you we, uh, would be interested in it. So that is it for now and uh, I hope you liked it, please let me know if you have Tolumnias, even if you have a channel or not, I really would um, yeah, enjoy it and if you know a name for this one, I would be really interested in it as well. And if you have any questions of course, please leave them in the comment section as well and I will get them to them as soon as possible. For now, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!